Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at Unit 2.2, Completing the Square. So where is this useful? Well, it's useful when you're in P1, P2 and a bit beyond where we want to be able to sketch a quadratic graph, get its minimum point or its maximum point. Um, we can also use it to solve quadratic equations sometimes where it's a little bit easier to do it this way rather than use the quadratic formula or perhaps when they don't uh, factorize now the easiest way to do this is to explain with a couple of questions but before we do that just want to look at the kind of the principle behind it in a way is something that you need to be aware of when we square a bracket so if I square this bracket, you know, you know it's the same as this, of which I can factorise. Or I can take a bit of a shortcut and it would be the x squared, the first term squared, the last term squared, and double the product. So x times 4 is 4x, doubled is 8x. And that's the quickest way to expand this. And when we complete the square, we essentially look at this part going back into here. And then we have to be aware of this part. Let me show you. Now you can see that this first one is very much like what we were just looking at. x squared plus 8x. And the way I approach it is very simple. What I want is the x plus and half of this value squared okay and then I always have to remember well just like in the last one when I expand this I get x squared I get my 8x but I also end up with 16 so I need to take away that so I need to subtract that 4 squared so this leaves me with x plus 4 squared minus 16. Now same thing over here where I've got a odd number it's not as straightforward but the process is the same so this is going to be x plus and half of this is 2.5 but it's easy if you leave it as a fraction because then when you're subtracting you're subtracting that fraction squared so x plus 5 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, this one we've got a coefficient of 3. So when we've got this, what we want to do is just factorise out that coefficient. Okay, now I've done it like this, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use square brackets just to make it a little bit easier to separate them out. So ignore that 3 at the moment, just outside, and let's deal with what's inside. So x squared minus 6x will become x minus 3 squared. Then I need to take away that minus 3 squared. So we've got 3x minus 3 squared minus 9. <coughs> now I can multiply everything by 3. So we get 3x minus 3 squared minus 27. And that's my completing the square done. Now you don't have to use square brackets. Okay, just use normal brackets. I've just shown it there so that it, it's clearer to see on the screen. And let's have a look at number four. Again, number four, I'm going to use square brackets, but I'm just doing this really to show the difference. Now, I'm just going to concentrate just on this bit. Okay, so that plus 7 you're just ignoring. Again, I wouldn't bother using the square brackets here, just for clarity. 
So this is the section I'm concentrated on. So it's x minus 5 squared minus, now minus 5 squared is 25. Okay, so this squared bracket here, this is going to give me this part. And then I need to remember I've got that plus 7. So x minus 5 squared minus 18. Let's look at one more question. Okay, here we've got 4x squared plus 8x minus 3. So again, I'm concentrating just initially on this section, okay, where I've put squared brackets. And then within that, you know, I do want to take that factor of 4 out. So that's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then I'm going to complete the square with this part in the inside my brackets. So we've got x plus 1 squared minus, and then 1 squared is 1. So I'm putting that in. And then finally, I just need to expand my brackets. So 4x plus 1 squared minus 4 minus 3. 4x plus 1 squared minus 7. And that is my factor of uh, completing the square complete. One thing to note here, and I've seen this done many, many times, is when someone just divides through by 4. So, you know, starting off with, say, this, they divide through by 4, and they get something like this, and then they go about completing the square of this. But there's a big problem, yeah? This is an expression, it's not an equation. Yeah, there is no equals there, it's not equal zero. Yeah, if it was equal zero, then this becomes perfectly acceptable to work through. But if there's no equal zero there, then it's an expression, you can't just divide, you have to factorize. Okay, so just need to be aware and be careful about that. I'm going to give you a few to try, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, answers. So, x plus 3 squared minus 9. x plus 5 squared minus 5 squared, essentially. x minus 6 squared. We got minus 36 minus the 6, so x minus 6 squared minus 42. Taking the 2 out first, x squared plus 8x. So you can see that this is then going to be x plus 4 squared minus 16. So 2x plus 4 squared minus 32. Again with this one, taking the 3 out, I'll do this one with the square brackets. So we get x minus 1 inside squared minus 1. So 3x minus 1 squared minus 3. And then final one on this page, we've got 4x squared minus 7 over 2x, and then that gives me 4x minus 7 over 4 when you divide it by 2, x minus and square, and this is 49 over 4. So we have to 4x minus 7 over 4 squared, oh, apologies. Sorry, that should have been 49 over 16 there. Minus 49 over 4. I was thinking too far ahead. I was thinking of the four times the fraction already.
final two questions. Just take the 4 out. x squared minus x minus 1. So this is x minus a half squared minus a quarter minus 1. Then we've got 4 brackets x minus a half squared minus 1 minus 1. 4 brackets x minus a half squared minus 2. And finally, again, completing the square, so x plus 5 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4 plus that 5. Okay, then a bit of simplifying. So 5 over 4 would be the same as 20 over 4. Minus 25 over 4 plus 20 over 4 is minus 5 over 4. And then we've got x plus 5 over 2. If you've uh, enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos on uh, International A-Level Maths.